Closing arguments are now underway. It's in the trial of the teacher accused of having sex with a 17 year old student at Miami Palmetto Senior High School. He was initially going to take the stand. That did not end up happening. CBS 4's Jacqueline Quinn joins us live from the courthouse with the very latest. Jacqueline. Yeah, and closing arguments just began around 4.30. I was stepping out uh, when the prosecution was really talking to jurors about the testimony of the accuser here. Yeah, but initially, we did think that Jason Meyer might take the stand, uh, but the judge and a discussion between him and his lawyers uh, really may have changed his mind because he decided not to at the end of that. Now, we'll go back to when this started. Uh, it started back in February of 2016, and uh, he was later charged with three counts of sexual activity with a minor, the alleged victim, and other former students testified already this week. Earlier today, other teachers and Meyer's wife took the stand painting a picture of a very busy home life that required Jason to be tied up with his family. Did you call the detective? No. Did you go to the police station? I tried to. When I was in my ninth month of pregnancy, that detective said I could follow my husband to the police station the evening of his arrest. Mm -hmm. He gave me his phone number. When I tried to get in touch with them, I couldn't. It was outside and I'm sorry. Now, those other teachers and administrators, they went over details like the policy, whether you could close or open a door, and what is considered appropriate content for the classroom. Again, closing arguments an outer way, and I understand that defense is actually making their closing arguments. We'll have the latest for you in the next hour. For now, reporting in Miami, I'm Jacqueline Quinn, CBS 4 News.